Hi Cancer, welcome to your June 2020 general reading. I am Charlene Lizette. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Thank you so much for stopping by. If you're returning, a massive thank you to you for being a part of our high vibrational community. You can see I have a little bit of a new setup. So this table, I'm trying to work it out to see if you all like it in terms of readings. And if you do, I'll keep using this for readings. If not, I'm gonna try and figure out what the desk because I am in the new office. It's looking pretty cool. I'm not gonna take that because I was just not energetically connected. Cancer, this may resonate with you if you have Sun, Moon, Rising, and or Venus in Cancer. If you are new to this, the way I do it is I pull out three cards for love and romance, three cards for career finance, and three cards for the overall general energy of the month. Your birthday comes up at the end of the month. We got a new moon in Cancer. And we have a shit ton of hard aspects in the sky right now. The great crumbling, right? Changing because now it is our time to create positive shift into the universe. I do need to give some love to my goddess, my queen, the Morrigan. She is behind me right here. Right there. Uh, what else is there? Yes. If you are interested in booking a private with me, shoot me over an email. It's in the description box below. I'm offering a discount right now because of COVID. Uh, so it's $60 US for a one hour reading. Uh, what else is there? If you are interested in participating in my workshop, my girlfriend Melissa Allen, who is a financial advisor and financial investor, and I are putting together a money manifestation mindset workshop. We're going to teach you how to uh, attract financial abundance in your life doing what you love. We're going to give you tangible tools. I'm going to talk about astrology and money. I'm going to talk about spirituality and money. Uh, we're going to do a money ritual. And Melissa is going to talk about how to make your money work for you. You know, wealth mindset, okay? And what else is there? Yeah, tickets are 22 bucks Canadian. They're, all the links are in the description box in the bio below. Um, so take a peek at that. <sighs> Let's get started, Cancer. Oh yes, the music that's playing in the background is a beautiful chorus. Messages for career and finance, please. What is this? No, it's too much. Three messages for career and finance, please. Okay, there are the three. Working hard. If you're working hard, Cancer. If you're working hard. Oh, uh, Queen of Wands for the general. You're thinking about creative ways on how to attract financial abundance into your life. I love this. This is you using not only your intuition and your psyche. Wow. Okay. Wow. Okay. Not only using your intuition and your psyche, Cancer, but you're also using your creativity, your beauty. Um, some of you might be... Okay, now you all, because, you know, in the past, I was getting, like, messages and comments saying, like, I don't trust anybody who doesn't share uh, the cards, and I was trying to figure out a way to still show me, because you all said, no, like, keep showing you, and then, like, do the cards as well. Like, you see this? Do you see, do you see this? That is a pair. That is a pair. Okay, let's just keep going. Yay. So it's um, career, finance, uh, general overall energy, and love and romance is the way I do them. And then I got my other card that I'll pull out in a minute for you. <laughs> I'm getting so excited for you. Cancer, like you've been having this stuff pop up like this love situation pop up in your readings for so long now. And it's like, I feel like every month, oh, come on. <laughs> and it's like every freaking month, I almost feel like every month, some of you get like closer and closer to union or get closer and closer to like a stronger bond or get closer and closer to, um, to, uh, uh, um, to your like divine masculine or feminine. You know, I'm not a really big fan of, <laughs> of true love. Okay, look at this, look at this, look at this, look at this. We're gonna, I'm gonna show you this. This is amazing. You know, Cancer, we've been feeling this for a minute, haven't we? We've been feeling this man or woman come into your life. Um, we've been feeling them <laughs> we've been feeling them um, uh, make their way 
into your life. And some of you maybe in the last couple of months have been like, why are they here? Listen, the tighter we hold on, the harder it is for them to come in, okay? Some of us have to just be like, I believe in you universe. I know you're bringing me my divine partner, okay? And release, right? And release. The middle card that you have is the Three of Swords. The Three of Swords talks about heartache, talks about loss, talks about betrayal, talks about pain, right? Big time pain in your heart, in your soul, and how you're feeling, okay? But here's the thing with the Three of Swords, okay? The Three of Swords also asks you, it almost demands it of you, for you to look at a situation from the three different sides, right? Think about it. If some of you are letting go of an ex, right? Because look, the release your ex was down here. Okay, if some of you are letting go of an ex, okay, it can be hard sometimes, right? We have these attachments, these memories, these stories, these experiences with, the, with them. But imagine if holding on to your ex is blocking the love of your life from entering, right? Or like when we're so deep in it, we can't see the good things, right? Like, oh, me being with my ex would have kept me stuck in a life that I hated, that I was unhappy with, that wasn't divine and high, va high vibrational. Right? And so this is like big time asking you now to take a look and, and while you heal your heart, because there's big healing here happening this month, um, while you heal your heart, to also be real and honest and truthful with yourself. Let's go through the general energy first and we'll go to finance and career and we'll end up with love. General overall energy, you're coming into your power. Okay, even though this is a fire sign, this this woman is very charismatic. This woman is very um, confident, very romantic, um, and very um, I don't know what the word is that I'm looking for. Like one of those women when like they walk in, whether you're male or, ma or male or female, so this could be masculine or feminine energy, regardless of it. But like this is one of those people where like when they walk into a space, like heads turn. Okay, and this is what you're stepping into. You're remembering who you are, Cancer. You're remembering your power. Okay, you got a lot of fire energy too. So some of you might have a lot of fire in your chart, especially with that page of wands there, okay? And then at the very end, because we already talked about the three of swords, we got judgment. Okay, this is the universe. First, it's said to be the Archangel Gabriel doing his trumpet of justice, right? Of, of judgment, sorry. And it is now, we're all going to be judged. And there's a big, like I call this year the year-long judgment day, okay? How do you act with people? How do you treat people? How do you treat yourself? How do you treat your situations? Okay, so this year-long judgment day that is happening right now is big in terms of your growth and your development and the way that you are headed forward into your life, Cancer. You don't show up in your reading predominantly, right? Like I don't see any major cancer cards. The only water card we have here is a page of cups. So this is telling me that you need to heal your heart to not only step into this queen of wands energy, but also like a queen of cups energy or a moon or high priestess energy, right? Or sorry, not high priestess, that's, that's Pisces. Somebody might be dealing with the Pisces. Um, sorry, chariot energy. Um, but there is here this big, call for you to now almost ask your guides and your i want to say almost ask your guides and the universe and your angels and your deities and whoever whoever it is that you work with to shine the light on you so that you may understand what it is exactly that is high vibrational and of purpose to you there's a lot about going in this month okay going in this month to find the power within look you got inner temple devotion tune into the portal of your heart and there's that heart again right then in career and finance where are you being i just sorry i just noticed this where are you being called to journey to in rama you're on you're on a new direction here you're in a new direction. And I, I got a feeling it's got to do with your career. Why? Because look, there's that three of wands moving forward. Watching your ship sail in or deciding in which direction you're going to go. What ship am I going to take? Where am I going to go? What company am I going to work with? What truly empowers me and makes me feel strong and powerful on the inside? What do I need to work on here in my life is what you're asking yourself right now, Cancer. What is of service to me and what is no longer of service to me? 
Those are these questions that you're asking yourself. Creatively, what direction can I go in? You got two pages. Page of Swords is somebody who comes in with information messages. Pages are messengers. You got three pages. Lots of messengers. I'll say younger energy um, in your um, in your space right now, either in your career or in your love life. Or there's just a lot of a lot of information is going to be delivered to you this month. The Page of Swords, however, sometimes defensive, right? He's ready to strike. Right? The page of wands is sometimes can be a little shithead. I always call it the shithead messenger. They say things, but like they all, sometimes they're the things that they say are like jabs, you know, or like information that could kind of stir the pot and cause a little bit of drama. But you're working hard on your money. You know what? With this Desiree card, no conditions are favorable right now. Wait or look into other options and ask the angels to guide it and, and comfort you. I almost feel like some of you might have this desire to jump ship and look at other uh, career opportunities and other work opportunities. And I'm not saying don't, but I'm saying hang tight. Okay, wait. Like, look at all the information that's being delivered to you. Look at, look at, look at. Like if you're getting a new contract, look at it all. Remember, Mercury is coming into retrograde, right? So not favorable to sign contracts and pay attention. Keep your head down and keep working. Okay, keep your head down and you keep working, Cancer. Because you keep your head down, you keep working, Cancer. You're going to see, okay? You're going to see and you're going to watch and figure out how to navigate through this. I don't know why I'm doing this. Like, mm -hmm like a fishy right you're gonna figure out how to navigate through this and how to see the people that are truly in alignment for your success and the people who are just using you but because you're protected yeah, you are protected okay you are protected from all types of harm the worst is behind you now i ask you to relax and feel safe because you are protected cancer i feel like and especially with judgment here you're gonna be okay you keep on with that good karma. You keep on with that good energy. You keep on with the um, purity, right? With being true to self, with being true to others, with being kind to others and being kind to yourself. And everything will work out in your favor, okay? Um, you know, just caution, right? Because a lot, we're, what we're seeing right now is a lot of people that have been wolves in sheep's clothing we're getting to see the real them. We're getting to witness and experience the real wolves that have been hiding. And in love. I'm in the mood for love. Okay, well, I feel like I just this to Gemini too. If you are single, Cancer, it does not look like you'll be single for much longer. Mew. I'm not saying that you're gonna get married tomorrow. I'm not saying that you're gonna get engaged or like jump into a relationship per se. But I do feel like this is your divine partner. Why? Because we got a pair here. Okay, we got a pair. Okay, and then we got a page of cups. So I feel like somebody that may have some um, Scorpio, Scorpio, uh, maybe Scorpio, that's weird that I said that. Um, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries energy uh, in their chart might be making their way over to you. Um, and they might be giving you messages of love because the page of cups is a messenger, but it's an emotional one, right? It's cups, it's emotions. It's like, hey, I've been thinking about you a lot. Hey, I, um, you know, um, maybe you just met them. Maybe you've met them before, but you guys really never connected. But there's chit chat, there's conversation. There's information here. There's, they might be a very good dresser. They might be very financially well off. They might spoil you. Uh, this is for those of you that are single, hang tight, the love, the partner one is coming up in a minute. Um, and they want commitment with you. This four of wands and this true love, they want commitment with you. They want something long-term. I don't know if they're gonna move really fast. I think that it'll be something where you'll get to know each other and slowly build into like a strong long-term relationship. And that's good in my opinion. Some, you know, I, don't, I know that everyone has different belief systems, but I'm a 
firm believer that when you take your time and get to know somebody, you really get to uh, appreciate them and desire them and love them in a completely different way than when you rush in, right? If you are in a relationship right now, like, come on, this is stunning, this is beautiful. This is telling me here that you guys are evolving into the next level of your relationship. Some of you might be uh, being proposed to, some of you may be doing the proposing, some of you might be moving in together, some of you might be celebrating some type of party, of union, of coming together, maybe a wedding, a baptism, um, you know, uh, I wanna say communion, but that's not happening because, well, look where we're at right now in the universe. But yeah, there's just some type of party, some type of celebration that's happening here with family, with friends, um, to celebrate your love. Yeah, to enjoy your love. Some of you might be at like, you know, the first barbecue that's allowed after COVID, right? Uh, when you can start gathering together or some type of like family gathering. And that's when they'll propose to you or that's when they'll turn around and be like, I want to be committed to you or I want to move in with you, um, etc. This is beautiful. What a great month for you, Cancer. And you have your birthday at the end of the month. And we have your new moon coming in at the end, which I believe is in an eclipse. Oh my gosh, three eclipses in one month. Get ready. Um, if you aren't following me over on IG, go check me out. Links in my bio. I offer a ton of free info in regards to astrology and stuff on there. Um, what else is there? If you want to go follow me on Facebook, go ahead and do that. And on the Facebook group, it's called Journey into Spiritual Awakening. And like I said before, if you're interested in a private read, shoot me over an email. Uh, it's in the description box below. As always, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Comment below. Let me know what you thought of it. And subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. All right. That is your June reading for 2020. See you later, alligator. Peace out.